So here I have a driver's seat belt assembly off a 97 Tacoma I just purchased. When I purchased, the seat belt was stuck in the fully retracted position. Um, obviously a huge safety concern. I looked it up, the new assembly would cost $180. So I thought, uh, there's got to be some other way. I searched forums, um, sites trying to figure out you know, if there's some kind of simple fix or whatever. Um, this seat belt is from an older vehicle. It uh, doesn't have a, uh, get down buddy. It doesn't have a, uh, a squib in it uh, to set the pretension if the airbag deploys. It's a, um, I looked at it for a while and I figured out that it's actually a momentum based uh, latch. So you can see, that if the vehicle pitches in any way, like say you come to a stop, there's a ball bearing in the bottom that slides either forwards, backwards, that will push up a paw and lock this plastic cog, keeping the seatbelt from coming up. So there's these pins right here. Those pop in like that. This one that was over here uh, was a little difficult because the belt was in the way. But I just, you know, kind of forced it a little bit. And we can see right here, this is the ball bearing. And this is the cog. And we're going to take this piece slide forward. Now when the ball is totally sitting flat in its cup, this paw is in the down position, meaning that the belt will move up and down freely. But you pitch forward, like someone hits you from the side, for instance, this paw is going to go up when this momentum of this ball moves it outside of its seat. And same if you get rear-ended or you have a collision in the front. That's what locks it. Now I've already taken this apart. To figure it out. And when I bought the vehicle, the uh, previous owner did say that it had sat for a while. And so there was a bunch of grime and stuff in here. And to clean it out thoroughly, I found the small end. I was able to push that pin out slightly. See if that's enough to grab it. There we go. Pull out this pin. Now it's just three pieces, three easy pieces. And there was some grime in there. I'd clean that out, but. I thought it was a pretty easy, quick fix that I couldn't find anywhere else online. So after I reassemble this, I'm going to take a little bit of a wax-based lubricant, uh, anything that's dry, um, like a dry film or like a white lithium, um, just as long as it's not sticky. Like this, this ball has to move freely. Um, it would be fine without lubricant, but you know, just for a little extra measure. All right, well, thanks for watching, and I hope it was helpful. I'll put this back together and get my new Tacoma back on the road.